How you doing? This is BK from ManForWars.com and ManForWars Media. And uh, welcome to Canadian Fight Club. Less assholes, more donuts. Less assholes, more donuts. Polite Canadians, less assholes to deal with, more donuts to eat. Simple as that. Less assholes in the public, less assholes in power. Let assholes in power make it assholes in public. We can't do anything with each other but be assholes and then let assholes in power do more and more to us and give us less and less donuts. Not Americans, like Patrick Henry, with all due respect, give me liberty or give me death. But polite Canadians, give me less assholes and more donuts or give me death. And at manforce.com here on Saturday, uh, April 18th, 2020, downtown Toronto, Canada. I'm just uh, a, a few steps uh, east of Church and Carlton Street. And uh, manforce.com, Manforce Media. Uh, it is, uh, it is um, April 18th, Saturday, April 18th, around 2.36 p.m. And uh, promoting polite patriotism. Help nice ladies and gents worldwide, offline. Teach kids to look top and feel great. And tell people worldwide, offline, you can do that. Locally discuss and share great online info they find offline. It's better people, make a better place to live, helping their neighbors hear different stuff and think for themselves. And, uh, and getting uh, your people involved in, uh, in making sure that they've got, uh, you know, uh, great people there and great places to live. You know, great places to visit, great places to live. And, uh, and great people in charge, or you get rid of them, put better ones in. And so, um, so um, with respect to that, uh, we've got rude, sketchy zombiosis problem here in Communist Canada. as a disarmed slave in Communist Canada. Uh, you know, I, I've got uh, tons of manforwars.com, 100% HD video proof. And my proof is not about me being an obnoxious asshole a bunch of, around a bunch of lying bitches begging to be broken who might be ignored or shit on and want to stop. It's about proving that on video over the last few years uh, with millions of people and over the last few weeks with thousands of people since this uh, coronavirus uh, uh, crisis or COVID-19 pandemic or COVID-1984 bad novel, uh, you know, uh, coronavirus uh, uh, hoax uh, kind of attacked us, kills a handful of old people, doesn't touch anybody else. We've all got to lock down everything. Uh, lots of corruption going on in the system, lots of evidence of that. And, uh, you know, instead of losing a trillion dollars in revenue and paying a trillion dollars in bailouts, the government could say, look, here's a billion dollars, try some vitamin C, try some chicken soup, vitamin D, zinc, quinine, tonic water, wear some masks, and, uh, yeah, we don't have to shut anything down. Don't worry about it, right? And we'll just make sure the people that are the most vulnerable can kind of be isolated. But instead, it's a giant power grab by the globalist, super-rich, evil people at the top. They're brilliant psychopaths, international banksters that want to run the world using international institutions like the UN, World Health Organization, World Trade Organization, International Criminal Court, and others. So they tell them what to do, and then those organizations tell us what to do. And they want to bring the communist China model worldwide, work to enslave a billion people there, by work on the other six, and that's what we're going through right now with these sort of mass quarantines and, and, and so on, right? And as we can't allow our system to get corrupted, uh, you know, after the cops, the samurai, working for the corrupt king, but trying to do a good job. There's the ronin, the masterless samurai, the rest of us who have similar skills, but uh, are less constrained by the official rules. Less cool toys to hit people with or lock people up with, but, uh, but we can still do some cool stuff. And we all want the same thing. We all want less assholes to deal with and more donuts to eat. So we're all on the same page. Um, but right now, we've got the mass zombiosis where people act rude and sketchy with people they know, and they can't do much except bother each other and argue, and then they wander around looking for nice people to attack and turn them into zombies too. And this is how communists killed millions in Russia, millions in China. Uh, they took all the nice, smart, helpful, successful people, and they organized commie zombies to attack them, the Bolshevik Revolution. And instead of those people helping them not be a mess, sort of like Antifa-style commie zombies, make a racket, don't make any sense, you can't really talk to each other or anybody else, um, you know, the, the, the same thing is happening here in Communist Canada and in different places around the world. So it's important for men to help uh, and men up. Uh, don't bitch out. Don't let your boys, girls, or kids bitch out. Don't be impotent while someone's a mess. Don't be a mess while someone's impotent. Don't ask man or woman or kid can't say nothing while someone's just a mess. Instead, uh, make sure you keep your self-respect. You don't lose yours. You, you don't take anyone else's. You help everyone have it. And, um, and then uh, men help each other man up. You help women and children chill out. We uh, respect each other, put each other in a good mood. Guys more straight up. Girls are uh, nicer to them, they're nicer to you. And, uh, and then good stuff. Put, it, put, it, put us in a good mood, keep it moving, right? So and that's all we really got to do. Men got to make sure they're cool, other people are cool, where they are and where they live is cool. Girls got to put us in a good mood and make babies. After that, do whatever the hell you want. It doesn't really matter. It's all a bonus or a pain in the ass. It can be young, old, fat, skinny, black, white, rich, poor, you know, crazy, sane. Uh, it just doesn't matter. If you could do that, then you're like, eh, well, they're not giving me a shitty version of themselves. They're doing the best they can. Even normal crazy people aren't trying to bother you. They're just off or something, head to the side, shaking, but not trying to bother you. There's no show I get respect with them. They can still be cool, right? Um, so but we got to deal with the sort of rude, sketchy, mass zombiosis problem uh, because it's treason in Canada not to let Canadians be polite. 
right? If someone's uh, minding their business, a root sketchy, you pretend ugly wife or girlfriend zombie bothers them, right? Lie, bitch, begging, broken, it bothers you, makes you put up with an act like them, can't do anything else, go bother somebody else, right? Um, it's treason. Not let someone be busy or happy or nice or look at or talk to people because you act rude and sketchy and bother them. Uh, it's treason against Canada, right? And polite Canadians, the culture, country, and people of Canada. Just like in Italy. If someone tries to speak Italian, hey, buongiorno, principessa. No, rude sketchy, you can't say that. What the fuck is this? They can't speak Italian anymore. Or a guy tries to enjoy spaghetti. Hey, I want to enjoy my spaghetti bolognese. Hey, no, rude sketchy, can't let you. It's like, what the fuck is that, right? So, same thing. So, um, that's what we're dealing with right now. And what I'll do is um, I'll take a little tour uh, around the hood and I'll show you. It's not, again, it's not about me, but millions of people who agree because people are either acting rude and they like being ignored or shit on, or they're super duper nice to me and they see how serious I am. They're super duper nice. Guys, straight up, cool. Girls, nice, friendly, straight up, cool, whatever. It's like super duper nice. So it's not about me at all. It's about how millions of people feel about this. You know, they got that rude, sketchy back and forth. Hey, how's it going, Dave? I'll get Bob. Put up with me. You put up with me. Run away from each other. Go by somebody else. People don't want to pay attention anymore. You have to run close to them and try and force them to put up with it, right? So that's 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 the issue. And people they people you know people they know are really happy. They're not hanging out with them. They're happy. They're bothering strangers instead for half a second. Instead of sitting near them for half an hour and bothering them, making them act rude and sketchy. And men, especially, being attacked. You know, but if men fall apart, you know. Uh, you know, you know, then, then, then they take everyone else with them. That's why my experiments show that um, you do not talk about Fight Club in mixed company or with mixed up company. But after, you have to. Otherwise, men suck at it. But if, but if they, if they do, then they're respected. Everyone respects them, right? So it's the same thing with me. I'm polite like Ed Norton to Tim Hortons. Uh, otherwise, talking crazy shit like Brad Pitt. And people are super nice. I don't bother individuals about this shit because they get their manties or panties in a bunch and start crying and feel bad they have to do it or put up with it, act like other people doing it. So, but I do still deal with it and lots of other stuff. And so it's the exact same thing. So do not talk about Fight Club in mixed company or in mixed up company. But other guys do it with each other. Everyone respects them and uh, they make sure everything's cool. And it's that simple. And uh, lots of uh, HD video proof. So right now we'll take a look at what's going on here. Saturday, April 18th, 2020. And um, just uh, walking west now towards Church in Carlton, which is that intersection over there. Uh, you can see, getting a lot of, uh, yes, Mr. Durden, we know what to do, getting a lot of girls going nice. And people want to be nicer in a crisis in case they need people, right? So they want to be less selfish. You have to be careful because zombies follow nice people around and try and trick you into looking at them like they're a zombie. Like this zombie might look to find some nice girl or guy or something and be like, no one wants to see me look ugly and sketchy. But if I follow this nice person and then... Somebody might look at them and say hello. Then I can force them to see me look ugly in case I'm a nice person. So that, that's what happens. So you got to make sure you're cool. Make sure you know where you are, where you live is cool. And then from there, um, you know, you can help people be cool. Otherwise, people will be nice. And then zombies attack them because that's what they do. They look for nice people to bother. And uh, they'll either run too close to you, bump into you, force you to see them look ugly. Or they'll run in front of you, spaz out. Or they'll bump into you, force you to see them spaz out. Nobody likes it. I've asked other people. Nobody wants to put up with this zombie. Would anybody like that rude, sketchy zombie bother you? They're going to pretend bitchy, sketchy, ugly wife or girlfriend. Just wants to bust your balls, force you to put up with them. You're just impotent while they're a mess. I've asked like 50 other people. I'm like, hey, this sketchy mess shaking near me. I don't, I'm not interested, but if, if it's something cool to do with strangers, you 50 polite Canadians over there, just put your hand up. I'll send them over to you, right? But no, they don't do that, right? So and otherwise, the zombie uses a sketchy when you use English. You can't use English with it anymore. And it bothers all the happy people, busy people, nice people, smart people, uh, you know, whatever. It looks to bother them to try and force them to put up with it and make them zombies too. Because you can't just look at that shit. It's too ugly, stressful, and confusing. So you got a zombie back. But then once zombie makes you a zombie, they can't really do anything with you. They just have to bother each other and then sometimes argue. And so then they wander around looking for nice people to bother to make them zombies. So that's the problem with the zombie process, right? Now, people don't like it. I've tried to help them out. I'm like, hey, this is the sketchy mess. Here. It's not my ugly ass wife or girlfriend. Make that clear. I have no business being impotent while this thing's a mess or fixing it. If that's how it's approached me with a problem, right? It's certainly not in public. So, excuse me. Otherwise, you know, it is what it is, right? So, you know, all, all the nice, smart, happy, uh, polite Canadians out there can say polite Canadians, teach kids to be, don't commit acts of treason against Canadians by destroying the culture, country, and people of Canada by attacking all the nice, polite people, acting rude and sketchy, making them rude, sketchy zombies too, and that's all they can do, right? You can do it. You can do it. Any guy can do it. Hey, make you guys come lose respect that way. But then that little thing bothers me and rips my balls off. So you lose respect that way. Yeah, hey, big, 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 ugly bitch bother you. Hey, you're not going to like it. Hey, nobody does that. Yeah. Now, little ugly bitch bothering me, just impotent while they're a mess. Oh, no. So you lose respect both ways, right? So you just, you can do it. 
<laughs> you can also help people chill out and get along, right? But you can do it. I'm not saying you can't do it. Hey, big ugly bitch, where the fuck you are? I think you're nervous, no matter what. Don't respect me. Don't want to do anything with me. Now, a little ugly bitch near me. Oh, bust my balls. Hey, impotent while they're a mess. Hey. Right? So, so that's, all, that's all that happens, right? Well, just keep yourself respect. That's not my ugly mess of a wife, you know, making a big mess in public while everyone's uncomfortable and I'm impotent, can't say or do anything. It just does that near people it knows, so they don't want to do anything with it anymore, and they're much happier it's bothering strangers instead of hanging out with them. So that's all that happens, right? So, no, it acts sketchy. It tries to force you to see it look ugly and sketchy if you use English with it. So that's why it waters around doing it near strangers. You can't use English with it, or whatever language you prefer. But that's what it does. So, you know, what's up, what's up? Hey, put up with this. Hey, yeah, English. Nobody do that near me anymore. Sketchy, sketchy. And then it just goes does near strangers, right? So that's the issue. So, um, so here at church in Carlton, We'll take a look. I see a Communist Canada bread line. We're going to stop that. That's how communists killed 50, 60 million people in Russia and China as well. They organized all the Bolsheviks' revolution into attacking all the nice, smart, happy, successful people. What? We respect each other. I can help it. No, you understand. You have to be a mess. You're supposed to be a mess. Blah, 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 blah. They, they killed 50, 60 million there. And uh, they're doing the same thing here as part of this globalist uh, United Nations World Health Organization communist takeover uh, going on as part of this pandemic. But we'll take a look at this Communist Canada bread line. And we'll see how long it is today, Saturday, April 18th, around 2.33 p.m. And uh, not mine, not mine, not mine. And uh, a lot of people nice, respect each other. Not, what are we they walk around their head down. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, fuck you, fuck you. We're going to relate to each other. Uh, not mine, just act sketchy and use English with it. It's okay. No, 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 no. A lot of people respect each other. Oh, no, I have to try and force you a trick and see if you look ugly. No, no, no. So, a lot of people, whatever, whatever, man. Don't let me take yours either. Let me be a racket near you. You know, so it is what it is. And this girl is chilling, statuesque. I waste my time just making it stand still. There's root sketchy, ugly guy. Just hey, wipe nose. Yeah, yeah, wipe nose, look at toes. Yeah, that's what I do when people talk. And we just wipe nose, look at toes back and forth. We can't do anything else until we go bother strangers. Try to make them put up with it. Yeah, yeah. So that's all that is. So it is what it is. Excuse me. The big man just wants straight up. He's on the phone. Don't want to be bothering him. Don't want to be bothering. Don't want to be bothered. So, guy straight up, whatever, whatever. And, uh,. It's not bad. It's a rude, sketchy zombie. Tries to force people to put up with it. People it knows are happy. It's not bothering them. Happy it's bothering strangers instead. And, uh, and that's it. So this Communist Canada bread line isn't too bad. Um, yeah, it's like millions of people on HD video. Life being ignored is shit on acting rude and want to stop. Or super duper nice when you're serious about it. And you, you take it seriously. They take it seriously. Go, ah, fine, whatever. Just act like a human, right? So it is what it is. Yeah, pick. Thanks, man. It's all good. Uh, chick pick. Whatever. So, oh, excuse me. Well, a lot of people don't like it. I've asked other people. This sketchy mess is beside me. I'm not interested. I look at 50 people nearby. Just put up your hand. I'll send them over to you. They look at you like a cat you spray with a squirt gun. Fuck off. Don't send that thing over to bother me. Yeah. Like, what? The, who the fuck likes this thing? You know, so it is what it is. So, uh, excuse me. Well, it is what it is. Who's the force you to put up with it? You don't respect it. it doesn't respect you. You can't really do much after that. You got to go bother somebody else. So, kind of sucks. That's the zombie process. A lot of people are nice. Oh no, it's a rude, sketchy zombie. You use English, it starts wiping and scratching, and you don't want to do anything with it anymore. No, it's not the Canadian way. That's not the Canadian way. We're not Americans. Give me liberty or give me death. We are give me. We are give me less assholes and more donuts, or give me death. Less assholes to deal with, more donuts to eat, less assholes in power, less assholes in public, making everyone assholes who can't do anything about assholes in power, and more donuts, more donuts, just like the cops, the samurai working for the king, hopefully doing a good job, even if the king's corrupt, the masterless samurai, the ronin, also want less assholes to deal with, and more donuts to eat, and that is the Canadian way. Now, hey, put up with me. You're not going to like it. No one does. Hey, buy somebody else now. Bye. That is not the Canadian way. Give me less assholes and more donuts or give me death. It's like Patrick Henry's give me liberty or give me death. We're Canadians, you know? We're Canadians. We want less assholes to deal with, more donuts to eat, 
more donuts the government let, gives here or lets you get, or more donuts the government with an abundance economy where people come up with shit. No, it's just a rude, sketchy zombie. You use English, it starts wiping and scratching, and you don't want to use English anymore, then it runs around trying to force strangers to see it look ugly. It'll even follow nice people around, and it'll hope that someone looks at that nice person like they're nice, and then it can trick them to see it look ugly. Right, so that's why you got to keep an eye on things. You got to make sure you guys help each other man up, help the girls and chill, kids chill out. Welcome to Canadian Fight Club. Getting a lot of guys more serious and busy these days. You know, something else in their mind, like their future, their family future, and so on. And uh, less bitch, bitchy, don't be busy. But, and let more girls nicer in case they need some help, right? But at the same time, that means more zombies who like bothering nice people and turn them into zombies they can't do much with except bother each other. Then looking for strangers to turn them into zombies, they, t they tend to get excited. They're like, oh, hey, you seem like a nice person. Someone's going to say hi to you. If I just follow you around for three blocks, someone will look at you and I can force them to see me look ugly I'm nice. Oh, shit, this never works, right? So that's the issue. But yeah, welcome to Canadian Fight Club. You guys keep your self-respect. You're not impotent while someone's a mess. You're not a mess while someone's impotent. Grown-ass man or woman, whatever you're wiping your nose and looking your toes about, you can actually talk about if you don't bother each other. It's not that hard. It's not that big a deal. It's not that crazy. No, a rude, sketchy zombie. You use English, it starts acting sketchy, wiping and scratching and spazzing you out, forcing you to put up with it, and no one wants to do anything with it, and it goes to try and force strangers with, to look at it. Now, you can't do anything with it. You try, I dare you. I dare you to fucking talk English. See what it does. Oh, white nose, look at toes. Hey, it's fast out. Yeah, yeah. You just give up. So it is what it is. It's not straight. It's not gay. It's zombie. It's zombie. I will walk up Church Street and I will see an old fag and his best friend and they respect me and I respect them and we're cool. Rude, sketchy, mess, trying to bother everyone. None of us are cool with. This, this thing's a zombie. You can't do anything with it. You talk to it, it starts acting sketchy. You don't talk to it anymore. Then it forces strangers to see it look ugly and runs away. It's a zombie. It's rude, lying, un-Canadian, treasonous trash. That's all it is. It won't let Canadians be polite anymore. And that's treason. It's an act of treason in Canada. Go to Italy. Hey, buongiorno, principessa. No, no, put up with me. Hey, nobody can do that. Nobody can speak Italian anymore. Hey, yeah, fuck you. That's treason. Or it's true, a guy tries to enjoy spaghetti. Ah, oh, spaghetti bolognese. No, 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 can't be happy. Can't enjoy it. Rude, sketchy, bother you. That's an act of treason against the culture, country, and people of Canada. That's all that is. Excuse me. I don't only bother you either, man. Don't, don't let nobody take your respect. Don't take nobody else's. Keep it. Help people have it. That's it. I don't care. I don't, I'm a guy. You can look at me like you're happy, sad, pissed, threatening, whatever. Just share it. Don't torture people with it. You torture people with it, you can't fix it. You just share how you feel, and then if you have to talk about it later, then fucking you can deal with it, or that'll help. But you don't torture people with, ah, oh, mess, we'll put up with it, I can't say do nothing, whoever you are, grown-ass man or woman. I'm your family and friends, they're sick of me. I go bother strangers now. Fuck it. Right? So that's all that happens. Whatever, man. Yes, Mr. Durden, we know what to do. You guys want to. I got millions on HD video over the last few years. People acting rude and sketchy, like being ignored and shit on. Everyone else super nice. Why? Because I don't bother individuals about shit. I'm just polite. That's because you do not talk about Fight Club in mixed company or mixed up company. But you do talk about Fight Club with other guys where you can respect each other and you can have the balls to have some serious fun or deal with something serious. That's all. People are nice. People know. I'll be like, blah, 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 blah. And I'll go to the cashier at Blah Blah's. Hey, good afternoon, man. Thank you for being here. Oh, no problem. Is that cash or debit? Oh, you want some bank? So what? They know. You do not talk about Fight Club in mixed company or mixed up rude, sketchy zombie company. Where someone's going to get their mantis or panties a bunch. But you do talk about it otherwise. If you don't, you suck at it. If you do, everyone respects you. Because you've got the discipline and the balls to do... S Excuse me, I didn't know you were here. Anyway, you have the discipline and the balls to do something. Balls to do something, discipline to know when to and when not to. That is all. That is Canadian Fight Club. And girls, whatever, they want to scrap, scrap. They don't, whatever, you don't usually like them scrappy or new anyway. Every girl I know was sick of being a bitch or dealing with one. That's where I came in. I had some complaining neurotic mess. They get guys being bitches, their girlfriends being bitches. They get me and go, you, can you fix this? 
Yes, I can. Not. Get another one. That's all. And I've had some really hot girlfriends. And they charm you to being nice. I'm like, you're too hot. You need to wear a burka, a muumuu, and Spider-Man pajamas. All at once, and you can't leave the house. You're too hot. She goes, oh, come on. I want to wear a pretty yellow dress. No, burka, muumuu, Spider-Man pajamas. Oh, come on. Actually, she wears the yellow dress, but not too short, not too low. And then it is what it is. Excuse me. Well, whatever. I like when you let him win. I remember I beat a girl at pool when I was 13. Felt like shit. Never did it again. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. You make sure you respect each other and keep an eye on things. Because the nicer people are, the more zombies will look to attack them. You stop your family and friends, your kids' family and friends from being zombies. You embarrass people out of it. And then whatever the fuck they're all fucking messed up and sketchy about, you can help them fix. Not just torture each other with it. You can't do anything with each other. Your kids and family and friends are happy you're not there. You're bothering strangers instead. At least you're bothering them for half a second each. Instead of bothering someone you know for half an hour. So, that's what I mean. Road sketchy zombie. Gonna follow around nice girl. 6'5", 200 pound guy. Gonna follow a 5 foot, 100 pound girl around for blocks. Just hoping to trick someone into looking at it like it's nice. It wants to force people to see it look ugly. But no one wants to look at it anymore. So it follows around a nice person. Hey, nice girl. We follow you around for three or four blocks. As soon as someone nice says hello to you because you're nice. I'll try to force them to see me look sketchy and ugly. That's the problem. That's how we got here. That's how we got to a place where we're impotent. This is a rude, sketchy zombie. You use English, it starts wiping and scratching. No one wants to look at it anymore, talk to it anymore. And then it forces strangers to look at it. That's garbage on the ground. It's not my ugly mess to put up with or fix. I have no relationship with that ugly mess. If that thing has a question, it can ask me. It can respect me, and I can respect it, and I can answer it. But I, otherwise, I have no relationship with that ugly mess to impotently put up with it or to try and fix it. If that's how it's going to approach me. Just like everybody else. You're not a mess while people are impotent. You're not impotent while people are a mess. You're not tricking people and looking at you like you're a piece of dog poo attached to a stick held by a stupid kid that runs near other kids and forces them to look at. Because that's all people turn into. Oh, you're not going to like this doo-doo on a stick. I'm going to boo near you. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll go away and do it with somebody else. Excuse me. You just turn to doo-doo on a stick some stupid kid holds trying to force other kids to barely look at it and run away from it. But people you know don't want to pay attention anymore, you run towards strangers trying to force them to look at shit they don't want to look at. That's all that happens. Fucking garbage. Uh, excuse me, I didn't know you were here. It doesn't matter. You know I was here. You respect our balls and our discipline if we have them. Our balls to do something, our discipline to know what not to. You guys are straight up, just nice to the girls, nice to you, and that's it. When he starts acting sketchy and force you to put up with him, you let that dog poo on a stick, give it up, or fuck off. Why, well, it's just like dog poo on a stick. It's barely forcing or tricking people into being close to or looking at it. That's all. When nobody knows wants to anymore, it goes and does it near strangers. Excuse me. And that's it. The Canadian Fight Club. Give me less assholes and more donuts or give me death. Kind of like give me liberty or give me death. But, you know, that's America. It's Patrick Henry. Give me less assholes and more donuts or give me death. Cops are the samurai. They work for the corrupt king but try and do a good job. The masterless samurai, Ronan, have to back them up. We all want less assholes to deal with and more donuts to eat. Less assholes in public, less assholes in power. Excuse me. That's just garbage. Just tries to force you to pussy and touch itself. Wipe and scratch its face. It's just dog shit. That's dog shit on a stick. That's dog shit on a stick. It's just dog shit on a stick. It's like a little kid that starts sticking dog, dog poo and then runs near people trying to force them to look at it. That's all that sketchy mess is. Just dog shit on a stick. Do not turn to dog shit on a stick. Hey, hey, good point, buddy. Put up with this. Fuck that. Now what? Nobody makes good points with you anymore? You go for strangers to look at it? Can't use English with you anymore? 
as you start wiping and scratching and spazzing out. Fucking garbage. So here at Young in College, before 3 p.m., around 3 p.m., Saturday, April 18th. Gentlemen, welcome to the Canadian Fight Club. You are not impotent while someone's a mess. You are not a mess while someone's impotent. You don't bother people you know until they want to do anything with you, and then they're happy to run around shaking near strangers. Make sure you're cool, other people are cool, where you are, where you live is cool, and keep an eye on the nice people. Embarrass people out of it. Some zombie following some nice girl around or guy around. Hey, someone's going to say hi to this nice girl. She seems nice. We just follow her around, and then as soon as someone looks up and says hi, I'll trick him to see you look sketchy and ugly. You keep an eye on that shit. You don't run too close to people like dog shit on a stick because you know they're not going to like it and force them to put up with you. Because that's what kids with dog shit on a stick do. That's dog shit on a stick. That's it. Hey, you're not going to like this, but if I run close to you and barely force you to look at you, yeah. That's all it fucking is. Excuse me. Like American founding father Patrick Henry said, give me liberty or give me death. But we are polite Canadians, we're not Americans. So give me less assholes and more donuts, or give me death. It's like the cops. We want less assholes to deal with and more donuts to eat. Not rude, sketchy assholes that bother people they know so they can't do nothing. That's dog shit. That dog shit over there, you use English, that dog shit starts touching its face, wiping and scratching, and no one wants to use English anymore, and it tries to trick Pete strangers and seeing it look like shit. That's somebody with dog shit on a stick, or somebody who is dog shit on a stick. That's all that is. It's not a polite Canadian letting other kids be polite Canadian. It's rude, lying, un-Canadian, treasonous trash. That bothers busy, polite Canadians until you bother them back. That bothers nice, polite Canadians until you bother them back. That bothers anybody that can look at or talk to anyone by acting sketchy until that's all people can do. That's dog shit on a stick. You keep an eye on that. What's up? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter who you are. You can show and get respect. Rich people, old people, young people, fat people, skinny people, sane people, crazy people. You could not be a shitty version of yourself that is to force people to put up with you. You can be a reasonable version of yourself that shows and gets respect and keeps it and minds their fucking business. That's all. And if you have to talk about what you're wiping and scratching and acting sketchy about, you'll be able to because you didn't piss each other off acting like rude, sketchy zombies. If it's not your ugly ass wife or girlfriend, throwing some bitchy, sketchy temper tantrum in public while you're impotent, then it's a rude, sketchy, crazy person. And a couple in a big cities, not, not, not so bad. We've had them here. In a big city like we've had them here. Poor, sketchy, crazy person, goes to the homeless shelter, nobody wants to pay attention to him, other placate, homeless people ignore him, and he runs on the subway, and all the placates the subway, look down, look at your newspaper, look away, they finish running around shaking and running away, and then all 50 polite Canadians pop their heads back up and they either mind their business or politely acknowledge each other. Nobody cares. You don't bother them back, nobody likes that. You don't bother other people, nobody likes that. Right? That's dog shit on a stick. That is dog shit on a stick. You use English, it uses sketchy. And no one wants to use English anymore. And then it tries to force strangers to see it look ugly and run away. Like a little boy that stuck a stick in some dog shit and then tries to run too close to other kids and force them to see it. That is dog shit on a stick. Human dog shit on a stick. That's what that is. Do not turn to dog shit on a stick that you have to trick or force people to put up with. Because that's all you turn into. Hey, sketchy, don't say it. No one likes it. Hey, yeah, yeah. And then what? Nothing, nothing. Got sketchy back. You're being attacked and we're being attacked. CBC News just came out. Excuse me. CBC News just came out with something saying, oh, oh, uh, you know, people are worried about this coronavirus. If dad comes up with a different theory, different things you can do, but the most deadly infectious disease in history, besides so wash your hands, stay away from people, and stay home. Well, thanks, doctor. What about vitamin C? What about zinc? What about drinking water? What about this? What about social isolation causing depression and, and weakening your immune? No, what are you doing? That's all we can do? This is not an infestation of African elephants. Well, wash your hands. Yeah, probably stay home a lot. Picking your nose, pulling your pipe. Good idea. Go make a sandwich with that shit. It's not a super deadly infectious disease of giant African elephants that are guaranteed to kill you. They're waiting people. They want to kill a bunch of us at once. They saw some hunting videos on YouTube. They got pissed. And stay home. Yeah, you don't go outside with all these giant African elephants around. No, this is a fucking...